In this video, I'm going to walk you through a pretty tricky buffer calculation. In this problem, we have 500 milliliters of a buffer that is made from 0.5 molar acetic acid and 0.5 molar acetate. And we're being asked to calculate the pH of this buffer after 0.01 moles of solid sodium hydroxide have been added. When you're given a problem like this, the very first thing that you need to figure out is whether the NaOH in this case is an acid or a base. So whatever substance it is that you're, you're adding to your buffer, in this case we're adding NaOH, we've got to ask ourselves, what is it? Is it an acid or is it a base? NaOH is one of our strong bases. Specifically, the OH minus ion is the base in this compound. That's the very first thing that we need to figure out. The second thing that we have to figure out is which component or what part of the buffer will react with this NaOH. Or whatever substance you're adding. So what part of the buffer is going to react with the NaOH? The buffer is going to do an acid-base reaction with the NaOH or whatever we're adding. So since NaOH is a base, that means the buffer's acid is the thing that will be reacting with the NaOH. The buffer's acid is the CH3COOH. Remember in the previous video, I told you that the way, or I think it was two videos ago, I told you the way that you can distinguish an acid from a base is by looking at their charge. Negatively charged components always have to be bases. And since this is negatively charged, that means that this has to be the base. And if this has to be the base, then the other component has to be the acid. Buffers always contain one acid with one base. So once you have figured out what's going to be reacting with the NaOH, now we need to write a balanced equation for that reaction. The reaction is going to be between the buffer's acid, CH3COOH, and the NaOH. Now really specifically, it's just the OH minus that's doing the reacting here, so we could make things a little bit easier for us just by writing the OH minus. And we have to predict the products of this reaction. This is an acid, which means it's an H plus donor, so it's gonna be getting rid of that hydrogen on the end of the molecule, and it'll be transferring the hydrogen over to the OH minus to make H2O. So there's the products of the reaction. Guess what? We're going to make an ice table. We're going to make an ice table for this buffer. The ice table, when we're dealing with a buffer calculation, the ice table has to be a little bit different. The ice table has to be in units of moles. Normally, we do our ice tables in molarity, but in this situation, it needs to be in units of moles. So that means we can't just stick 0.5 molar as our initial amount of the CH3COOH, we have to figure out how many moles there actually are. So for the CH3COOH, because it's 0.5 molar, we know that that means there's 0.5 moles in every one liter. And the problem is telling us that we have 500 milliliters or 0.5 liters. And so that means that we know that we have 0.25 moles. Our initial amount of the acid is 0.25 moles. We calculated that from the volume and the molarity. The amount of NaOH that we are adding is 0.01 moles. We also have some initial CH3COO minus. Fortunately, it's the exact same molarity as our acid, so the calculation that we've already done will work for giving us the number of moles of the base. That's not always going to be the case, but in this case it is. Because we are dealing with a strong base, that means that this is, reaction is going all the way to completion, so that means we find the smaller of the two reactants, and we subtract that amount from all of the reactants, and we add that amount to our product. 
And when this reaction is all done, we are going to have 0.24 moles of acetic acid. We're going to have no OH minus, and we're going to have 0.26 moles of acetate. Now let's not forget our goal here is to calculate the pH of this buffer. And we can calculate the pH of the buffer using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. I'm just going to take this calculation right here and just kind of move it off to the side to make some room. The Henderson-Hasselbalch equation says that the pH is equal to the pKa plus the log of the concentration of the base over the concentration of the acid. The pKa for the acetic acid acetate buffer, which definitely needs to be given to you, is 4.74. Or you, if you don't have it given to you, you can look it up. 4.74 plus the concentration of the base. So our base, we've already identified that our base is the CH3COO- because it has a negative charge. This is the number of moles. To get it back into molarity, we're just going to divide by the volume in liters, which is 0.5. This is a 0.48 molar solution. So I'll squeeze that in there. And then we also need the concentration of our acid. Again, it's in moles, so we've got to divide that by the volume in liters. I'll make some room there for it. And this is 0.52. There's not a lot of room for this problem because it's really big. And I'm actually going to shrink this. Make it really small to give us room for our pH calculation. So when we plug all of this into our calculator, the pH that we get is 4.77.